do you need to be in pain to get benefit from this? And, um, you know, okay, so the answer to that is no. That's but right. um, why is it no? And how, if we, if we take um, the, the, the notion that 80% of the problem, as you said, comes from, from our stress response. Mm -hmm. So um, if for a moment we, we were to consider that, um, that the way that our posture exists now, even if we don't feel pain in this moment, um, could be actually setting us up for um, what seems like an acute injury much later in life. So, you know, if we can somehow develop a, an awareness to like live in all of these moments or have an awareness of all of these moments at the same time, you know, then it becomes pretty like, you're like, well, you know, I, of course I have to do this right now, you know? That's just, yeah. I think you're right. I think that when someone comes to see me who's not having a problem, that's a tremendous potential because we're not putting in all this effort to get the car out of the ditch. You can, you, when you're not in the problem, you can then have room to say like, wow, I didn't know I could feel that much better. It's like when I got out of my pain, I was like 53 years old, and it's like, oh, now I feel like I'm 40 again. And like, oh, I'm gonna keep doing this. And, oh, I feel like I'm 30. It's like. Wow, I, I feel like I, I feel better than I felt when I was twenty. Mm -hmm. It's like, what does that? It's like you can you can get you can feel better and better and better. That uh, it's just an experience that I invite you to have. It's, that's really what it is. So can we talk about the myth of aging? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was going to Yes, yes, that was my next okay. question. Because like I'm twenty and I'm in a lot of pain and I hold the strongest belief that. When I'm 25, 30, 40, like I can just keep feeling better. And I think I hold that belief because of doing clinical semantics and I mean in learning the theory, but like, and, and just feeling and experiencing. Um, but like, even working with a talk therapist, you know, she'll say things to me, you know, like, let's, you know, watch your expectation. And all those things have their value, but, you know, kind of being told, and she's kind of, she kind of made a comment like, you're not getting any younger. And th that mindset, though, that, is representative of kind of everyone around us thinking that when we get older, it's not going to get better. Yeah, right. That's right. That's that's how most people think. That we we correlate these problem these problems seem to correlate to age, but I I think it's you can be your own experiment to say <laughs> well is that is that really true because. The problems of the stiffness and tightness and sort of degradation of our bodies that happens with age, it, it goes along with age, but it, it, the, it, the root of it comes from something different. It's these stress reactions and injury reactions, these habits of tension. So if you say what we associate, which what we think of as age has little to do with aging, and what if we that stuff is reversible and changeable, well, then you can possibly, I guess, can, it, can, you get, can you get better and better and better with age? Can you get better all the way to the very end? Can you feel better? Can you feel more free? What's, what is, we don't know how we're limiting our own freedom. Mm -hmm. okay, we don't know how much that's us. We know that we're trapped in certain patterns, whether our thoughts are in certain negative loops or we're really busy or how things are. We can't calm down. We feel restless, maybe. Uh, we know we had some bad injury and it's like, oh, you know, I've got a problem side. And since I hurt my shoulder, it never quite worked right again. Even though, like, I went and got an MRI and they say there's no problem anymore, but ah, I just, something's it's just not, not like the other shoulder. I can't quite lift it up. And I believe that many of these things are functional. So it's always, why not first try a functional process? It's a lot cheaper and a lot less mm -hmm. painful than surgery. We try, and do, we try and do it. It works better not going into any pain with this process. Not at all. The brain lear won't learn well when it's in pain. So how can we do these movements so gently and so softly that they're not creating pain so we can begin to know our range of ease 
And then the brain will allow that range to get bigger. Just what, what? the meaning of the word aging, how it used to mean like growing and getting oh, better, but yeah. now it has this, this other meaning. A, a growth in, in uh, wisdom or a growth in spirit, yeah.